fine wine has always been associated with bottles and corks, and it used to be that if you didn't need a corkscrew to open a bottle of wine, it probably wasn't much good. However, this is changing recently, since modern winemakers know that while cork has tremendous advantages, especially for long-term aging for fine wines, it's not always the best choice for modestly priced wines or wines that are designed to be consumed when they're young and fresh. This is because cork is made out of the bark of an oak tree. It's a type of wood, and because it's wood, it is both organic and porous, which means that it can absorb all sorts of other components and can sometimes transport microorganisms like bacteria. This means that cork can occasionally negatively influence the taste of the wine inside the bottle. With grape varieties like Riesling, for example, the ones that are the most subtle and understated being the most susceptible to damaged flavors that come from the cork. As a result, we see more and more producers starting to turn to alternative types of closures for their bottles, many of them being made with cork, ground up and bound together with some kind of other glue or agent that allows them to disinfect every bit of the wood inside. But other types of cork are just made of synthetic that have kind of a spongy, almost cork-like feel without being made of wood at all. What we are seeing more and more of though in the modern day though is this screw top package that allows us to bottle the wine in a resealable container without any use of a stopper of that style at all. In fact, this screw top container is designed to retain the freshness of the wine and side by side studies are showing now that this Stelvin style screw top can actually act to preserve and extend the lifespan of a wine. So we're seeing more and more producers choosing to use it on both their modest wines and also on some of their premium age-worthy bottlings as well. My favorite aspect of the screw cap though is that you don't need a corkscrew. You can just open it with your fingers. But the screw cap is not the most advanced package in the market. And I think that as time passes, we're going to see more and more wines coming out in this bag in the box package. It's not necessarily well suited to fine wine collecting or wines that you're going to allow to age in your cellar to improve. However, if you're talking about efficiency, if you're talking about a modest everyday wine that you might wish to enjoy on a regular basis, it's hard to beat the advantages of this bag in the box package. Let's think about it. This box contains a bag in a shrinking mylar bag inside that holds three liters of wine. Three liters is the equivalent of four bottles and this box is much smaller in terms of space. This means it's more efficient whether it's sitting in your refrigerator or sitting on the counter. And the box does something else very important as well. When you open a bottle and pour, air fills the space that the wine leaves behind and oxidation is the source of most wine spoilage once the bottle is opened. The bag in the box, on the other hand, does not allow oxygen, does not allow air to come in contact with the wine because squeezing the tap pours a glass and the bag shrinks to take up the space. What this means is that any of these other packages, opening the bottle and pouring yourself a glass, starts the wine down the road to spoilage and after a few days, it will no longer taste as fresh the bag in the box package, on the other hand, can age for 30 to 60 days without having any obvious oxidative or negative spoilage from coming into contact with air. Generally speaking, the economies of scale, the recyclable aspect of these boxes, and the fact that they reduce the shipping weight of wine dramatically all lead to a smaller carbon footprint and tell me that this is likely to be a wine package that has a long future. After all, the prices are so significantly reduced in the boxes that you can usually get the equivalent of four bottles of wine for the price of only two or three.